Hey, hey, y'all, how you doing? Let's look at exponents today. Get right to it. Okay, you should know a couple of things about ex uh, the way exponents are written. If you have, for example, let's say 3 to the second power, you know, this means we're taking that 3 and using it as a factor twice. So rather than having to write 3 times 3, which takes up more space, is 9. You can write 3 to the second power. This is considered the base, and this is the exponent, okay? Three to the second power is how you read that. Now, you know, it'd be one thing also, this gets to be a real pain in, in science, because you have things like molecules, which are really big, or small, and like uh, distances like light years, which are just humongous. So you can get things like, you know, 10 to the 13th power, you know, light years away or something like that. Now, do you really want to sit there and write 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, times 10 you know, 13 times? And that's what a waste of space in a science book. Also, like, that r increases the chances you can mess up and, like, miscount or something, you know? So, very handy to, to read this kind of stuff like this. So, anyway, much better to do powers like that. All right, let's evaluate these exponential expressions. Okay, let's focus on this one first. Okay, the answer to this is not 8. Don't get confused. It's not 8. This does not mean 4 times 2. This means 4 used as a factor 2 times. And 4 times 4 is 16. There we go. 3, the 3 to the 4th power is, again, not the same thing as 3 times 4. This means using 3 as a factor 4 times. Now, if you like go, oh my gosh, look at how far that is going across. You can bunch these up in any any... Uh, any order you want. So you could look at this and go, well, that's 9, and this is also 9. So what's 9 times 9? Of course, the answer is 99. No, it's not. It sounds like something Calvin and Hobbes would say. But okay, that's 81. So 3 to the 4th power is 81. Now, 2 to the 3rd power, that means 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So 2 to the 3rd third, third power is 8. We do a lot of things with exponents this year and in Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 as well. So make sure you know those really well. And I'm telling you, man, you get the Saxon math, math stuff down, you just keep cranking through these problems. I'm telling you, do them every day. Make math, if you, even if you hate math, do it the first thing and get it over with. Get all these problems done. If you get 20 right out of 30 or 25 or something like that, great. Check the ones you missed, figure out what happened and go, okay, I, I'll get that next time. Go on with the rest of your day. You got 25 out of 30 problems right. That's great. Let it go and keep going. So, all right. Um, you'll be better off when you do this to like biology and chemistry and all those kind of things. It'd be awesome. So anyway, okay. Um, here's the kind of stuff you will see. Write 4,400 as a product of prime numbers. I want you to pause this. Go ahead and use your factor tree. And I want you to write 4,400 as a product of prime numbers. So stop right now. Go ahead and do it. Pause the, pause the video. Okay, what you should have done is gone, okay, 4,400. Obviously, I mean, you could have even done 44 times 100, or you could have done 440 times 10. You know what, I think some of us might have done that, so let's go ahead and try 440 times 10, all right? So that's a two, and that's a five, so we're done there, all right? This ends in a zero, so that's gonna be 44 times 10, and that'll be, of course, again, two and a five. Okay, 44, you should know, you know what, let's just pretend you forgot. That's gonna be two times 22, and then 22, of course, will be two times 11. So, what you're looking at is this, two, 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 two. So that's gonna be two times two, times two, times two, and then we have five, five, and 11. So five, and five, and 11. We good? Okay, I'm assuming you said okay. All right, let's do this now writing this as a product of prime numbers using exponents. Now, if you recall, we had this before. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Then, was it 5 twice and 11? Yeah. Then we had 5 and then 5 and then 11. So to save yourself a little time, rather than have to write this out and then write this like this, just write 2 to the what power? Fourth, right? So you can write 2 to the fourth power times... 5 to the second power times 11, and there you go. That's all there is to it. So just save you a little time having to write all that stuff. Okay, look on page 59. 
Pause it and come back in a second. Okay, well let's take a look here. We have 2 to the 6th power, which means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. This will be, and again, you can put this in any order you want. Or like you can bunch them. Look at this. What is this right here? That's 8, right? Well, that's 8 also. What's 8 times 8? There you go. 2 to the 6th power. Okay, B, 1 to the 3rd power. 1 to the 3rd power. Is that 3? No, it's not. Okay, that is the same thing as 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1, right? Had a conversation with a guy decades ago. He's like, you believe in Jesus. You believe in the Father. You believe in the Holy Ghost. Look, that's three gods. You believe in three different gods. And I was like, no, no, no. You have your arithmetic. That's not exactly right. It's actually this. That's how it is. Okay. All right. The three are one. So anyway, okay. Just a little math problem there for you. All right, let's look at C. Five to the fourth power which means 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. And again, don't forget, you don't have to go through and do four different multiplication problems. You can lump these together. You can just go 5 times 5, that's 25. So I'm going to go over here and do 25 times 25 on paper. If you did that, you'd get 625, and you've got the whole thing. It's, it's over. Okay. All right. Look at D. Write 3240 as a product of prime numbers using exponents. Well, let's do that. Okay. So, looking at 3240. All right, obviously this ends in a zero, so you can go 10 here. So let's go ahead and do that at first. So we have two and we have a five. And we obviously have 324. Okay, even if you didn't know anything else, now you ought to look at this and go three times two times, I mean, excuse me, three plus two plus four is nine. Ooh, I can divide that by nine. Or I can divide that by three. Well, let's just say you forgot, but you know it's an even number. You did the division, it's 162. Oops, same thing, even number, 2 there and 81. Oh, wait a minute, 81, we know that one, right? That's 9 times 9. And that's going to be 3 times 3, and those are the prime ones I'm circling there. So, you getting like these factor trees yet? Okay, well, let's look at the 2s. We have uh, 3 2s here, so let's go ahead and say 2 to the 3rd power, right? Then let's say 3 to the fourth power, and then let's say five is five, or you can put five to the first power if you want to. So, okay, and that is it. All right, well, that'll do us for today. See you guys next time. Take care.